state of Nevada is now a hotbed for prehistoric discoveries, thanks in large part to a local paleontologist. We found this, and it told us that there was something new. Joshua Bondi is the director of the Nevada State Museum, and he's got quite the resume, credited with discovering the first dinosaur unique here to the state of Nevada. Nevada Dromius Schmidi, so Nevada part is pretty obvious, but Dromius means runner, so it's the Nevada runner. These are the thigh bones. He found it back in 2008 in Valley of Fire State Park, and it was accepted as a new species just last year. They were built to run, so they had, they ran on two legs. Uh, their mouth would have had a little beak at the front, and then cheek teeth, so they're definitely plant eaters. Uh, it would have been about the size of a turkey, or a little bit bigger, and with the long tail, probably about six feet long. That discovery has led to other incredible finds here in the state, millions of years in the making. Nobody's really looked, and so when you go places, you're finding bone everywhere because it's not picked over. Including one made by his wife, Becky Hall, who's also a paleontologist. So this is a string of backbones from a duck-billed dinosaur. That one was 25 feet long, and the process is now underway of getting it certified as another new species found here in Nevada. Yeah, there's like an average of 40 new dinosaur species discovered and described every year. So uh, for as long as there's paleontologists climbing around the hills, there's going to be new discoveries. Oldest fingerprint from the state of Nevada. The couple has also unearthed another site south of Eureka, one of the biggest digs in the entire state. All the research we do is with permission from either Nevada State Parks or the Bureau of Land Management. Uh, so you need a research permit to collect fossils. If you're out hiking, and oftentimes people out hiking or hunting find really cool fossils, the best thing you can do is take a picture of it and a GPS. Then you're asked to contact the BLM. You know, if you discover it, we keep you in the loop so you can come out and help us dig it up, or if it's something brand new to science, maybe we can get it named after you. Now, for the, those of us who aren't as schooled on dinosaurs, mm -hmm. I thought the ichthyosaur was the yeah. first. It's actually not a dinosaur. It's a marine reptile. And he pointed out, oh. as far as we know, dinosaurs left the sea. They didn't go back into it. So oh, okay. that's why the ichthyosaur is not technically a dinosaur. It's a state fossil. Okay, that's that's really interesting. Yeah. I was wondering if there's going to be like a Nevada Joshi dinosaur oh, named here. I don't know if Nevada <laughs> can handle that. <laughs> let's, let's leave that one buried. All right. Well, going for a